Hey everyone, it's Dave. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. I hope you're doing well. So, let's have a look, see what we've got here. We have two bottomless chasms on either side. And let's dispose of these wormy things. Was close. Trying to get hit by those giant balls. I like to smash the pots first before I get the rupees. There's a big ball there. Okay. All good. Now, which way do you want to go? can go this way. So we got Stalfos here. Now there's a couple of variations in the game. You have these ones that just jump about when you try hitting them. And there's another variation. Right, we've got the map. Yep, there's another variation of the um, Stalfos where they jump and they throw bones at you as well as a sort of a counter-attack. <clears throat> and there's ones that just throw their heads at you and that kind of thing. But you should be seeing those very soon. Now I grab some arrows, good. Right, through this door. Bombs. Right, some rooms you have to destroy everything in order to get through a room. So some are switch based and some are um Kill, you know, kill enemies. So, uh, Sahasrala, yeah. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armoured foes. Now, this enemy... You can only hurt him when his eyes open. Now, at the minute... I can only carry a maximum of 30 arrows. Now, you need the master key to get through there, or the big key. You need the big key to open the chest. You can go down here. And then, if you've got a... If you've got a spare bottle you can use the bug net to capture a fairy and the fairy is used to bring back your health and you can either let it go and let the fairy heal you or if Link loses all his health instead of dying a fairy can bring you back. Right, in 
any more scalpos in here? Any more pots to break? No, nope, good. Now these are like anti fairies. And if you've got magical powder, which you can get later on, you can destroy them. And I believe that they can turn into regular fairies. Get rid of him. Get rid of you. A bit of magic doesn't hurt. Right, so now, because I've disposed of those enemies, the anti fairies are running amok. Now we have the big key. So, what we want to do. Let's go through here. This will take us back to where we were. And we want to go this way. And now we can go and open. The big chest. And now we have the arrows. Now these Stalfos like to throw their skulls at you. We've got the big key so we can open the big locked door. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Like the... Um... Oh, I missed. For lighting up the candles. But you can do. If it helps. Let's do it again. We have got a fair bit of magic. One out of key. Nothing else over there. Oh, there's a door there. What's in this door then? Ah. It's a room full of rupees and two anti fairies. I think they rob your magic as well. And the enemies haven't respawned. Time to go upstairs. Gives you a chance to get some health back. Unless you hide in a corner and get hit by the enemy. Exposing those. So, a room full of flying balls. Doesn't sound right, does it? These ones. Take a couple of hits. To kill. Here's the boss, the six Armos Knights. 
No, you can. Use your sword. But. Best disposed of using your arrows. to land on you. And that's the first pendant. Brilliant. That's the first boss beaten. You won the pendant of courage. Take it to Sashrala. Two pendants remain. Stand still when I'm trying to shoot you, you utter burk. So now we're going to find Sahajrala in here. Let's see what he can tell us. Oh, you got the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Davy, I, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants. And carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. Alright, so you've now got the Pegasus shoes. And it is incredibly useful. And it's much needed. So. You can run into enemies with it. So, looking on the map, there we have a pendant to the bottom left hand corner in the desert. We have one at the top of the map at the Tower of Hera. And then you have the Master Sword in the Lost Woods in the top left hand corner. Now, the desert is actually the next port of call, that is the next dungeon. So, let's steal these Octoroks, but there is something we have to obtain first in order to get into the dungeon in the desert. Because it's not like not like this dungeon that we've just been in an eastern palace where you can just just walk in. There is a thing we have to do. We have to do, excuse me. Pick up, sir. Get out of my way. Ha <laughs> ha, you got hit. So, you're wondering, possibly. Ooh. Yeah, you shot my arrow. Hey, come on. A little bit unfair. Look at this stupid bird. Get hit by a bird. It has got a name, but I forget. Here's a shopkeeper. Ah, oh, bloody bird. Give me some health. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Right, can't pick that rock up yet because that just can't be picked up just yet. 
I mean, what I will do. There you go. Make use of that fairy. Okay, so that's the first dungeon done. I stun you. And this be Link's house. Which has got the Kakarika Village music. Very nice. So that's that done. So, we'll proceed next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Cheerio! Bye-bye!